Do you know how to check the health of your product backlog? Today, we'll explore how to keep your backlog in top shape to ensure your team stays focused, efficient, and productive. Let's get started. Welcome back. The product backlog is the starting point of the Scrum process. Think of it as a dynamic but prioritized to-do list for your product. But how do you know if your backlog is not healthy? When you hear your team saying, I don't know which task to tackle next, everything seems important. Or when you hear them saying, why are we constantly shifting priorities? We're never going to finish this sprint at this rate. These are classic symptoms of a neglected product backlog, but don't worry, we've got you covered. To measure backlog health, you can use the following parameters. One, backlog size. This is the total worth of items in the backlog. Two, backlog prioritization, distribution of the priority levels among the backlog items. Did you know that JIRA automation can be used to improve backlog quality? If you want me to make a video on that, type JIRA automation in the comments below. Also, find the link to my Telegram channel in the description. I've designed a simple dashboard to track product backlog health. Let's see how to use it. This dashboard has three sections. The first section is basic details. Enter the basic details about the project, such as the status indicating tickets ready for the development team. The next parameter is average velocity. The second section is where you can check the backlog health, but we'll get to that shortly. The third section is the JIRA data sheet that holds data from JIRA. To automatically get the data, go to extensions, then JIRA cloud for sheets and click open. Click get issues from JIRA. Go to Fields and click Edit. Now arrange all the fields as shown in the Excel sheet here. Then go to Issues and click Refresh Issues to get the latest issues from JIRA. With the updated data, the second section shows the backlog health. Isn't this awesome? You can download this dashboard by clicking the link in the description. Let's understand how it works. With 20 story points being the average velocity, the backlog size looks green. When the velocity number is bumped up marginally, the health indicator turns amber. It becomes red when the velocity number is doubled. This shows a direct correlation between average velocity and backlog size. Now, let's talk about the impact of prioritization. If there are too many critical tickets, it's indicated as bad. Shifting some critical work into high priority still shows a bad status due to too much high priority work. But the moment we balance the work across all priority categories, it turns green. Too much critical or high priority work in a sprint isn't a good sign. Balance is key. With a healthy product backlog, your team knows their priorities, can focus on tasks, and hit their milestones. That's the power of a well maintained backlog. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Agile insights. Share your backlog management tips in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep your backlog healthy and your team happy.